vision, hope to a new generation. Together we can live and learn. Yes, we're one family. I'm the Alex Show. If you ask most people who would like to start a family, how many children would they like to have? The most common answer would be two, a boy and a girl. But imagine having them in one go. Then imagine again that they are super talented. Well, today on The Alric Show, we have two super talented kids. What's your name? My name is Ngozi Music Right. Ngozi Music yes. Right. I got that right? Yes. Okay. And what's your name, sir? My name is Tofari Wright. Or can you, you can call me Mr. Wright. Or oh, Mr. Wright. Mr. Okay. Wright. Well, you know, I, I think I'm going to call you Mr. Wright. And of course, we have their father, Omal. Omal, yeah. thank you for being here. Yeah, man. Most welcome. All right. So, one of the big things for me, I learned in Gozi, right? I got that right. Yeah. That you are a spelling bee champion. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. How did you become a champion? Well, um, mostly I was like just, I was, rem I was remembering the words and I kept like saying it, saying it in my mind and along the way I kept pronouncing, um, I got no handicaps Yeah. because the last one, it was a simple word, but because my mind was on like the rest of words to come and that was actually the last one. So I was actually focusing that I have to win this. I have to get it right. So I actually said like gibberish. Yeah. And, then I, and then fast, really, really fast. I said, no, 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 I'm going to correct it. And then I corrected. Do you remember and the then, word? Um, not actually, because it was like years ago. Years ago. You were about how old? think three or four. Yeah, but, uh, but Tafari, how are you doing? I'm fine. You're fine? I hear that you can freestyle like on the spot. Is that true? Yes. Yeah? Not like sing freestyle, like rhymes. Like rhymes, freestyle? Let me hear one. Go. His shirt is red. Sleeping in my bed. And <laughs> <laughs> what else? I don't see, some person say died, I don't see dead. Oh, oh cool. You're a master. You're a the master. Tafari is well fed. I'm just a med. You're all a meds. Love what you do, your dreads. <laughs> so, Mal, tell me yes. about um, the, when you were expecting twins, right? Um, what was that experience like when you were expecting twins? Well, first of all, it was terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, you know, double the amount of spending, <laughs> double the cost, double the expenses, you know? Right. But as well, it was joyful because I believe that children are blessings. Yeah. And this is double the blessings, you know? Her name actually means blessing, Ngozi. Yeah, did yeah, you man. know that Ngozi? Spanish. Yes, I actually knew that because like, um, and it also, to me, it also means princess. Yeah. Um, so I actually knew that because my, my mom told me and actually, I never actually believed her. So what I did was I just went up on Google and mm -hmm. I said Ngozi. And then I realized that it actually meant blessing. Yeah. Yeah, man, in Nigeria, Nigeria the yeah. Igbo language. So I realized a lot of Nigerians, they're following her on social media, you know? Yeah. And it's based upon the name because sometimes they will type to me and they will ask, you know, is she Nigerian? She looks just like our people. You know? Yeah, I yeah, need man. to do something about my name like right now. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> Tafari, you know the meaning of your name? What's the meaning of Tafari? King. You know that? King. You're a king. Yes. You're a royalty, sir. Yes. Because um Hail Selassie, mm -hmm. Jara Safari, um his name is actually Tafari, that's his actual birth name. So Tafari has the name Tafari. Yeah, thank you for telling me that. I had no clue. I just know him as Selassie. Thank you. you. You just educated me. That's what that's what I actually do because, like, I I sit in class. I I learn some Spanish. I would normally just go to my mother and then I start talking Spanish, and then she's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. So you go home every day and you teach mommy and daddy something new. Actually, I do online classes. Mm -hmm. So I just stay in my room and wait until lunchtime or break time or until class is over. And then I come out and tell mommy what I learned. Great. No, I'm Tafari. What are some of the fun things that you like to do? I like to play football. Yeah. Imagine I'm in space flying a, flying a rocket, one of those space planes. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. Yeah. Well, why do you want to be a pilot? Because I want to see how planes are controlled. So I w I've been thinking of a lot of tsunamis, like when tsunamis will happen and all those mm -hmm. stuff. But if I be actually become a pilot, I would like to fly all over the world. So I would like to fly forever. That's why I've been thinking to be a pilot. You know, Tafari, please remember me um, when you're a pilot, sir, so that I can get a free ride. You think I can get a free ride on the plane? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Only if I'm the boss. Only yeah. if you're the boss. I think you're going to be the boss, um, Tafari. <laughs> well, we take a break. When we come back, we have more with Ngozi, Tafari, and Omar, their father. Show. Welcome back to the show. Um, how does one prepare their children for stardom and also keeping them grounded in the process? Um, Omar, yes. when you recognize that the children are now really talented, right, and you're about to expose them to the world, right, what did you tell yourself and how is it that you are, you're keeping them grounded as well? Because there's a lot um, mm -hmm. they are being exposed to. All right, first of all, I should say that, you know, I didn't choose to bring them into the performing arts. Yeah. Yeah. It was like her grandmother, she had a plaque on the wall. It was a prior. Mm -hmm. And her grandmother used to say that prior to her. So when she was able to speak, which she was speaking at a very young age, mm -hmm. she started to say the poem in a way that her mother says it sounds like poetry. Mm -hmm. So with her mom knowing that I write poetry, her mother said that I should write a poem for her. So that is how I created the Hey Big Man poem. And she's been doing that from two years old, you know? And everywhere, she usually say it on the bus everywhere. And we notice how persons were reacting towards it. And I think that's where she got this passion, you know, based upon persons' reaction. Tafari was a little standoffish at first. Mm -hmm. Tafari didn't want to go on stage. But after a time, seeing Ngozi on the stage, he was in the audience and then he started to cry that he wanted to be up there. So that is how Tafari, you know, got into the performance. So I didn't push them towards it, you know? We just let it flow naturally. Right? Yeah, man. Ngozi, yeah. you're a poet? Yeah, poet, singer, dub poet. Mm -hmm. Basically, right. performer. Uh, uh, among your friends, do they consider you like a star? Yeah, they consider, me like, they consider me like famous. Like one time, mm -hmm. um, I was at school. She know, this girl, she knows me, right? She actually knows me and it's not like the first time. But because I'm like a uh, performer, she came up to me like, oh, hi. Um, like kind of like paparazzi or something. Yeah. But I was actually like, why why and i'm like i was like i don't actually understand because it's up because why because i just don't know yeah man and so they are kept grounded by just the way we live you know yeah, yeah. as rastafarian people you know we are humble we come from humble beginnings and they know that you know right so they're just regular children yeah. they like to play with their friends ride a bicycle he likes to play football you know so it's, it's no stardom thing. Right, right. So Tafari, just... do they see you as a star too? Some of them, mm -hmm. only the ones at my school. Right. Uh, which school do you, do you go to? Just Paul Primary. Yeah, and which, which grade are you in? Grade three. Grade three. Are you guys in the same class in Gozi? Yes, yes, we're in the same class. Yeah? What's that like being in the same class with your brother? 
Well, um, Fun. in grade one, um, in grade one. Tell him what school was, you were in in grade one. Oh, I was in South Park Primary. Yeah. Um, but in grade one, I wasn't actually going to say it was that nice because actually we were in the same class in in grade one so actually i had to actually do everything together mm -hmm. um not that that bothers me mm -hmm. it's just that like when i'm doing my work he actually sits beside me and I, that doesn't actually bother me but because we're twins we all sometimes we have our own ways so like when we're in <laughs> class mm -hmm. and i want to do something right but he is still bothering me. But, um, and then it might lead to like fighting. But I'm like, why are we in the same class? But no, like when we finally get introduced to clubs now, mm -hmm. um, and now when we were in grade two, mm -hmm. and that uh, we can't actually see each other that often, sometimes in my club, I started to cry because I started to miss stuff, right? Aww. And then I just couldn't wait until like, um, until my club time was over. And that's why I actually switched clubs. Um, because according to my race, like because who I believe in, like there's this Christmas thing. Um, I don't actually celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I actually never actually wanted to do it. So that from that day, that is when I actually quit the club that I was in, that was speech. So I quit the club and I decided to go in the club that my brother was in. Which club is that? Music, because oh. and Tafari likes drumming and plus I like singing. So I said, why not? All right, so guess what? So Tafari likes drumming and you yeah. like singing. Mm -hmm. Right now on the spot, Tafari, I'm gonna want you to do some sound with your hands like a drum and you're gonna sing. Okay. So let's hear that. We are ready in hey, three, man. two, one, one two, action. One, two. Hey, big man, love the little pygmy. Go on with the sweetie, you can't trick me. Take your old car and go on where you will go. Pervert, me no wanna drive from yo. Pervert, me no wanna drive from yo. Go in right now, go see. God's gift to mankind, little children, stars where you shine, don't kill them, murderer, you walk a burn in a hell, you touch a little picnic, me I go tell, kids don't talk to no stranger, run and scream in a danger, from your earth children, electric cheer. Those who agree, put your hand in the ear. Those who agree, put your hand in the ear. Pull up that. Pull up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we definitely will be pulling up this break. So when we come back, we talk more with the family, the rights family. <laughs> I show. Welcome back to the show. They have made history multiple times. Long before the age of 10, they are now 8 years old. So we have the super twins here with us. Yeah? And they definitely appear to be reckoned with. So uh, let, me, let me ask you something. So you do, you do you perform at school um, for, your chil uh, for the children there and stuff like that, for your friends? Yeah, mm -hmm. at basic school. Mm -hmm. um, like we would all, we would, we would always like, because there's like graduations right. and there's dance, um, there's dance club. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I participate, I uh, used to participate in dance club and also like on special events, I would like, I would like perform okay. um, on the graduation. You perform as well? Yeah, so to with my, with my with my classmates. Oh, cool. So, Tafari, um, do you remember performing at Parliament? Yeah. Yeah? What do you remember? You mean my speech? Yeah, yeah. How did you feel while you were doing that for the, for the Prime Minister and for everybody? 
I feel great like I was doing something good for everyone. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling the persons who are doing wrong to do the right and persons who are doing the bad to do the good. My name is Ngozi and I am seven years old. Thank you for letting us be the very first group of children in Jamaican history to stand here and present to you. That, that's, that's really good because sure. I've never even met the Prime Minister. So you're like way, way in front of me. Actually, I've met the Prime Minister like a lot of times. Yeah? Um, a lot of times? Yes. And I've not even met him once? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just lucky. You're just lucky because you're yeah, super, we did some... you're super talented. I'm not talented. Um, because I have like performances. Mm -hmm. Um, I we did the some performances yeah. for Jasif. For Jasif, so, uh -huh. yeah. So several occasions he was there. You know. Right. What are some of the other awards um, that that um, they have? All right. Won? The last time when the speech festival was kept. Mm -hmm. Ngozi was the top performer there. She won all the awards out of every category. So Ngozi, you went to the people in competition and took home like every yeah, single man, everything. <laughs> you won everything. Louis trophy. <laughs> everything. Out of all the groups, all the ages, yeah. all the categories. You know, she was the overall top female performer, mm -hmm. you know. Also, she won um, the This Poem trophy. Yeah. She was the top performer there. You know, This Poem Poetry School competition. Yeah. They performed for Tony and Sing when she came here because she has a poem about Tony and Sing and Taffa introduces the poem. So, yeah. you know, they came calling and they must have the place, man. Tony and cried when they were on stage performing the poem for her, you know. So, That's good. They, they do a lot of performance. So, so there are big things happening um, for a Netflix movie? Yes, that yeah. is called Black Box. You seem talking so. about you are our stars. I'm just here on TV. I'm not even in the movie. But... But you like, you like have props. I like to have props. Look, oh, so that's a problem. You, no, props. no, no. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Like, just look in the background. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have like this big Yes, it's naming lights. Mm -hmm. All of this yes. is Alric. So, so you're saying you know? that I should be grateful that of I have all yes, of these superstars. Yes, you should be grateful because mm -hmm. a lot of, like a lot of people, they, they, they would be wishing that they had a of talk course, so like of They have to be grateful. Cool. Okay. Thank you so <laughs> much. You I, I, as of today, I'm very grateful to have my own show. Yes, man. When you grow up, you know, what are some of, some of the other things that you want to do? I want to be the first female governor general. First of female. Jamaica. You know, actually, you're teaching me, teaching me a lot of things today. We've yeah. never had one. That's true. Yeah, I actually had that thought in my mind for a long, long time. And I'm actually going to work like double jobs mm -hmm. because uh, I still want to continue my dream as a great musician, mm -hmm. um, poet, poet, dope poet, yeah. a performer. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. And of course, I know you want to be a pilot. Right. So, Father, Omar, yes. <laughs> what is your wish um, for, for your super twins? Just that they be children, full joy of their childhood. You know, because I said, this isn't something that I chose. Yeah. So as long as they are full join it, you know, I'll allow it. Mm -hmm. But if it becomes something that they are not enjoying anymore, then we allow them to choose what they want to do. You know, whatever the most I has in store for them, I'm just here to support and to guide the process and to make sure that they are good along this journey, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, what mommy, um, and what mommy has to say as well. Mommy is behind She loves you. it. Well, beside she loves you. It. She loves it. She right. loves it, you know? Yeah, man. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. You can ask me a question, sir. What was it like starting to be a TV show host? Well, well, for the first show, I was very nervous. I almost called the station and told them cancel the show. But I was very nervous. But it's something that I always wanted to do. When I was 12 years old, I decided that I wanted to be on TV because I saw everybody on TV. Um, you know, the, the people on TV, who, who read the news, they could read so well. And when I was your age, I could read so well too. So yeah. it's like, hey, guess what? I have this talent, so this is what I want to do. And then, now having a talk show, I get to meet amazing people like you and you and your dad so that we can share and inspire others. Inspiration. All right? Yeah. So, so thank you. Uh -huh. 
So was it like in the 1920s? Tafari. Okay, Tafari. All right, Tafari. I wasn't around in the 1920s. <laughs> as old as old as I look. <laughs> but in the 1920s, I don't know if we had TV like this. I don't no, know if we, we don't had TV. have cameras, mm. lights, and those stuff. No, but I think they are like newspaper and stuff, and probably ra and radio in many in, in some countries. All right, so Ngozi <laughs> and Tafari uh, will take us out. Um, on this show today. So I want to thank you so very much for sharing with Ngozi, Tafari and Omal right, right here on The Alric Show. The Alric Show will be back next week. But before that, let's hear your song. Right now, this is a special release. Yes. Super twins are burned beast. All victims rest in peace. We'll feel it, fear canis. Love the kids, made them grow. Got you yesterday. I like a hip start show. Load the kids to my own, see them on the street, make them come back home. Load the kids, make them grow, not yesterday, I like it if start ya. Mm -hmm. Load the kids to my own, see them on the street, make them come back home. Britain son, Britain says, kings and queens, how them can't find Jasmine Dean. 300 murder, crime driving, the air just start and a beer crime scene. Government focus COVID-19. The two keep on rising. We have a choice. Open the listen. Every day, children are missing. Loud the kids made them grow. Not yesterday. I like a hip star show. Loud the kids to my love. On to them on the street. Made them go on back home. Good job. Let's look up. Let's look up. Remember it. Thank you. Alrighty. Alex Show.